What's up people? Welcome to your 10th WX Python tutorial. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use something called a slider. Now what a slider is is pretty much whenever you see those little um uh like gauges that you grab and you slide it along in the number changes, um that's what it is. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Let me actually first tighten this up a little bit. But there we go right there. So the first thing we need to do is uh, create a slider object. I'm just going to name mine slider. You can create or you can name whatever you want. And next we need to set it equal to WX period slider. This is going to create our slider for us. Now this takes actually a bunch of parameters. So listen up. The first parameter it takes is the parent and ID. We already knew that that was coming. The next thing it takes is a couple numbers the first number it's going to take is the default value so I'm going to make this slider 1 to 100 so I'm going to set the default at 50 the next thing it takes is the minimum amount on the slider so let's go 1 and after that of course the maximum amount so default don't get this uh, ID confused default minimum maximum so then we have a slider the next thing we need is the parameter is to position it somewhere in our panel. So we're at PS day, POS stands for a piece of, I'm just kidding, stands for position. 10, 10, you can position yours anywhere you want. Uh, next, we need to do the size. I'm going to put the size equal to something like 250. And better put those in parameters. 250 and negative 1 will give it a default height. And next, we need to do, let me move this over a little bit. And after this, we just need to give it some styles. So, let's go ahead and put style. And there's a bunch of different styles for this. Um, I'm going to put the first style I want is wx.sl underscore. Actually, I think that this might be, yeah, I'm pretty sure that horizontal is default. So let's go ahead and just add SL, let's see, WX, SL, and I'll show you guys what I was talking about back then in a little bit. AUTO, ticks. Come on, spell it right, Haas. And I'll, it's kind of hard to uh, um, tell you guys what ticks are, but whenever I run my program, I'll show you guys what they are. And make your pipeline to separate styles and put WX, SL, labels. So we have two styles, auto ticks and labels. And I'll show you guys what those are um, after. So let me move this over so you guys can see. And good enough. Even better. So let's, after this, we need to set the ticker frequency. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this since you guys don't know what tickers are, are yet without seeing it. So let's go ahead and put slider. Let me get this nice and correctly positioned. Slider is it. And here's how you do this. Set ticker or tick F-R-E-Q. That stands for frequency. Next, you want to put how far apart you want them. And then always put one. Uh, I don't know why they make you put that one. It's for positioning, but just do it. Now, you guys can finally figure out what a slider looks like and what tickers are. This is a slider right here. And actually, I'll just talk you guys through it right now. We went and created our slider right here. We put it in the panel. Negative 1 for ID. 50, see how it's set at 50? I didn't touch anything. But if we slide this, we can change the numbers. The default is just when, as soon as you run the program, what it's set at on default. It can go from 1 to the minimum to 100 the maximum. If you guys can see, minimum, maximum. The position is 1010, size 251. Now, let me talk to you guys what these styles mean. Uh, right there. Now, I didn't put horizontal because, as you can see, it's horizontal by default. There is a vertical style. It's SL underscore vertical that can make this go up and down. Um, auto ticks, what this means is it'll display these tick marks, these little gray marks under here. Those are called ticks. And, again, how far apart those ticks are, that's what we did right here. Uh, let me see if I can get it. Set tick frequency. This means they were five ticks apart. And don't mind this one. That's um, positioning. I don't even know why they had to do that. 
in our last style what was that actually or yeah labels what this label does is it gave the label for the minimum and maximum value if you don't want this then you don't include this at all but again auto ticks give you these ticks and labels include these labels or numerical values at the top so this is your basic on how to create a simple slider again if you want oh great someone texted me thank god i'm done with this tutorial so again um here's your code right here do exactly as i do and play around with those styles a little bit depending on how you want your style or slider to appear so thank you guys for watching in the next tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to do i don't know it's going to be awesome guaranteed so just don't forget to subscribe and check out my next tutorial so thank you and i'll see you next time